Um, and and I'm, I say this very reluctantly, but this has the hallmarks of the sort of tax you see in the Middle East, where you hit the target quickly, uh, overwhelming force, get out of the area before, before the police can show up. Uh, it, this whole thing disturbs me because, like, no shooting I've ever seen, and I'm be fascinated to hear what the police dig up. And as I said, we're going to hear from them again in the next few minutes. Uh, it, it, as our panel stands by, I just want to go to Norman Rogers, uh, who also lives on the street where the shootout went down with the black SUV. One shooter now dead or down is the word that they're using at this time. Norman, what did you hear or see? Well, I didn't really see anything till after all the shooting, but I was in the backyard just checking my plants to see if they need water because it's cooler now. I don't have to water that often. And all of a sudden, I hear a barrage of, of uh, bullets. And, you know, I once in a while we hear firecrackers, and you go, oh, that's, that's what that is. But this was totally different, and it went on and on, and I'd say probably 100 to 200 rounds. And that got me in the house real quick, on the floor, in the den, until that kind of stopped. And then I kind of peeked through my front window, and... My bedroom window, and there was policemen everywhere, even in my front yard, hiding behind the van, you know, and it was quite scary, actually. And it must have been, it must have been terrifying. Uh, did they come to your house and tell you to lock the doors? Did they look through your house? What did they yeah, do? Yeah, they did. They did. They finally knocked on my door, and I could see through my window that it was them, so I answered the door, and they asked me if I was okay, and I'm sure I was, and I said, uh... You know, I, it's just a little scary, and they asked if I could, they could come in, and I'm sure they might probably want to see if there was anybody in here besides me. And I said, come on in, whatever makes you feel better, because I'm, you know, I'm kind of scared right now. But they, they did come in and look real briefly, and they, they said there potentially might be an uh, explosion a little bit later, because they're looking for a bomb. And I said, just be very careful, guys. Hmm. And that was it. And, uh, and uh, now they've throughout all the neighborhoods still looking, I guess, for... Something I'm not even sure what, but yeah. All right, well, Norman, we uh, thank you very much, and we're, we're glad that you are safe. Glad that they came in and checked. We know that they are going door to door. Uh, you all just heard Norman say he heard 100 to 200 rounds uh, in what another neighbor here said was a 10-minute shootout uh, with at least one of the attackers. We are just about 10 minutes away right now from another press conference from uh, senior San Bernardino police officials where we are hoping to get a lot more information. Right now, uh, so many questions outstanding. We do not know still whether there are two more shooters or just one uh, more shooter. We know that one was...